Hello everybody, my name is Kata and today we are going to do some strength training and boxing slash kickboxing intervals. So you're going to want to have a mat for the floor work and then you're going to want some kind of weight. So it can be dumbbells, it can be water bottles, water jugs, uh, kettlebells, just about anything that you have for some weights. So we're going to go ahead and get started and we're just going to start by tapping our toes. So the nice thing about this workout is everything is going to be done for time. So we're going to do one minute of every exercise. Let's open it out to the side. Start to open the hips. So we're going to do everything for one minute and we're going to do alternating um, strength training with some uh, boxing or kickboxing and then just some um, cardio exercises like jumping rope, things like that. So, but we're going for time. Let's lift our heels right left. So the important thing about this is to work at your level. Yes, I want you to push yourselves, but at the same time, I don't want you to be so tired that you can't finish or your form gets really bad or that you're so sore for the next few days that you don't work out at all. So take your time, find a pace that you can steadily do comfortably and safely for one minute and you'll be golden. All right, heels to the front. Just add a bicep curl. So one thing to remember, music might be a little faster than what you're used to. Go at your own pace. I just have to be on beat, that's the way I work. All right, side to side, we're gonna press. So getting a little triceps, waking up those elbows, inner and outer thighs. Four, three, toes back. We're gonna push, push. Again, you can go slower. You can even alternate if that helps a little bit. Shoulders relaxed, push and pull. Four, three, knees up. Here we go. Knees, start to add a little rotation. So we're starting to also wake up those abs. Eight, seven, four, three, hamstring curls. We're gonna take heel to the opposite hand. So we're opening up those hips out to the side just a little bit. Four, three, heels to the front. In my water classes, I call this hacky sack. It's not quite right, but you get the idea. So just like you're trying to kick that hacky sack with the inside of your foot. All right, hamstring curls, here we go. Squeeze the shoulders. So we're just gonna get the body moving, get the heart rate up, get the blood pulsing, and then we're gonna start working on some drills. All right, march it out. Now option one is just march. If you're a little bit more advanced, you're more than welcome to jog. So it's working with what you have and where you're at right now. All right, jumping jacks, here we go. So low impact, or you can go high. And again, go at your speed. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, forward step and reach, forward step and reach. Precursor to lunges. We're gonna do some of these later. Three, two, we're gonna add a little rotation. So forward step with a little turn. So hips, knees, and toes stay pointing forwards, but your upper body rotates. Two, backward step, open and close the chest. Good, shoulders stay over your hips. We wanna make sure that we don't lean back. All right, reaching the arms up, up. So these don't have to be full lunges. We're just kind of getting the pattern down. Three, two, all right. We're gonna sway right and left. Start to roll the shoulders. We're gonna start working on a little bit of our drills. So let's take the roll, start to make it a little bit bigger. So if you're like me, you might already be starting to sweat. So imagine we're just wiping off the sweat where we're kind of doing a little lazy backstroke. 
All right, arms up. Now we're gonna tap it down. So our shoulders are relaxed. We're starting to work on the rotation of the shoulder. Four, three. All right, bring it in the center. Now we're just gonna punch. So as we do this, notice, right now I'm keeping my shoulder over my hip and I'm letting that heel lift off of the floor to pivot. Now this is especially important if you're on carpet. So if you're on wood and you can pivot, great. But if you're on carpet, I want you to step. All right, switch it to uppercuts. Bring it up close to the body on the sides. So make sure we're not trying to punch ourselves in the chin. We're aiming for something else. Seven, six, five, four, good, three, two. All right, now we're gonna do some hooks. So think about skimming your arm across the surface of a pool. At the end of the day, you're trying to collect all of the pool toys or the leaves. Good, again, shoulders are still relaxed. You can do palm facing yourself or palm facing down. I do palm facing myself just because of my shoulders. All right, boxer shuffle, boxer shuffle. You can always march, okay? So this isn't a full blown boxer shuffle, but you're just getting ready. Four, three, all right, back to jogging. This time we're gonna do a heel jog. Now option is you can always just keep doing hamstring curls, that's fine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, jumping jacks, here we go. Low impact, option one. High impact, option two. Good, eight, seven, four, three, to march it out, march it out. Here we go. All right. Hopefully you've got some water nearby. I want you to go ahead and grab a drink. Keep those feet moving. We wanna keep our heart rate and our breathing up. Keep that blood flowing. All right, first exercise. We're gonna do side squats with a bicep curl. Or no, no bicep curl, just side squats. I gotta think. Now, you can always do dumbbells holding two. You can hold one. Shoulders, side, your choice. You're gonna sidestep squat, bring it up. Sidestep squat, bring it up. All right, you ready? One minute, here we go. Time is on. Sidestep and together. Sidestep and together. So take your time. I will admit my legs are a little sore. So I'm gonna take it nice and easy, but I'm just gonna try to keep going for that full minute. Now you take your side step. You want to evenly distribute your weight between both feet. Sometimes we do this and we wind up shifting into one leg. We want a centered squat. After this, we're gonna do a little bit of jump rope. So chest is up. Backside is down. Think about how you would pick something up. Keep going. Got about 10 more seconds. So this is our starting strength. And again, you can always do a lot of these strength exercises with no weights, and that's fine. Good, let's set it down. All right, jumping rope. Ready? Three, two, one. Time is on. Now you can always just do hip shifting. Yeah, you can always do really fast marching or side to side or jump rope. Whatever you pick, knees and ankles are soft. If you wanna make it a little fun, you can go side to side. You can do a little jack as long as you keep moving. You're halfway. After this, we're gonna do some boxing drills, a little bit shadow boxing. So if you're starting to really feel it, it's not feeling good, take it down. 
If you're like, oh, this is kind of easy, bring it up. Challenge yourself just a little bit. Good, about five more seconds, you're almost done. Good, all right. Right foot forward, left foot back. Here we go. One, two, one. One, two, one. Good. You have a minute. Now notice my back leg, I'm pivoting. Yes? What's an option? One, two, step. One, two, step. But you want to think about bringing that hip around. One, two. Exhale, especially on that back punch. Now I'm not a boxer. I don't do martial arts. I took Taekwondo in college, but that's about it. But you can still think about which muscles you're trying to work. Now when you're doing the punches, you don't want to overextend. You want to get mostly straight, but leave a little soft bend in your elbow. Good. I'm gonna check and see how much time we got. Oh, good, all right. Other side, ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. Double punch, cross. So notice right now, I'm actually lifting my foot just a little bit off the ground so that I can bring that hip around, bring that heel up, and around, yes? Now if you're on wood floors and you've got shoes that aren't too grippy, you can always just pivot on the ball of the foot. But we wanna make sure that we're not turning like I am right now. It's not good for your knees, it's not good for your ankles, or your hips, really. Good. After this, we're gonna do more squats, but we're gonna add in those bicep curls. So you squeeze the cheek. Bring it around 10 more seconds. Find your target and try to hit it. Four, two, and one. Good, all right, grab your weights again for bicep curls. Now you can do narrow squats or you can take them hip width. Toes forward or a little bit out. Chest is up, squat and bicep curl, you have a minute. So time is on, so down and up. Now as we do our squats, sometimes I wind up seeing people push their hips back and then bend over. You wanna keep that chest lifted. Think about sinking into the heel and sinking into your hips, almost like you're trying to sit between your thighs. The other thing we wanna make sure that we're not doing is swinging. So down and up, pick up that suitcase. So it can be a shallow squat and still be a good squat. Weight is in the midfoot and the heels. Can you wiggle your toes? That's always a really good test. So nice and tall, shoulders away from the ears. Look at something that's a little bit away from you, off in the distance, kind of like when you're driving. Last one. All right, everybody. Last exercise. We're gonna finish strong before our break. We're gonna do burpees. Everybody knows burpees. I'm gonna grab my chair. I'm gonna demonstrate an option. All right, so take it down, step it back, hop and bring it up, or hop back and up. All right, you guys ready? One minute of burpees, take your time, here we go. So you can squat down, step back into your burpee, come back up and reach. You can step back, you can hop and bring it up. If you decide to do a full burpee and hop back, the biggest thing to remember is make absolutely certain that you do not do what I'm doing right now. You wanna make sure those hips stay up. So when I do these, because of my normal students, I don't do the push-ups. You also have the option 
of coming up and doing a jump or even a calf raise. Take your time. Less than 15 seconds to go. And as you can tell, I like doing sumo burpees. I like going down with my feet wide. One more, get it in. Last one. Oh, good job, everybody. All right, you've got a short break. Grab a drink, keep those feet moving. Keep that breathing nice and controlled as best you can. We're gonna run into circuit number two. Circuit number two. So, keeping the feet moving means that your muscles are helping to pump, to pump the blood back up to your heart so that your heart can send it to your lungs so it can send it back to the body. You're over halfway for your break. After this, we're gonna do some lunge jumps. Lots of options. So grab that drink, keep those feet moving, sidestepping, walking around a little. Good, five more seconds. Right foot forward, left foot back in a lunge position. Two, one, good. Right foot forward, left foot back, down, up and down, or little hops, or big jumps. You have 30 seconds, your time is on. So down, up, and down, okay? My back heel stays up all the time. I'm not trying to get it to the floor, okay? Weight is in the front leg. You can always do little hops, land with a soft knee. Yes, yes or go a little deeper. Yes and yes, two and one. Switch sides, other foot in front. Same thing, down, up. Like you're trying to power up out of some mud or you're doing a photo shoot, yeah? Jumping out of the water. Now remember, you can always hop, land softly on that knee. Good job, everybody, almost done. 10 more seconds. We're gonna do some boxing. You can also jump this way. Three, two, and one. Good. All right. A speed bag, here we go. Option one, march. Option two, shuffle side to side. Option three, take it front. Time is on. Now you don't wanna be down. Little bitty arms facing each other circle around. About halfway through, not yet, we're gonna switch directions. Usually you don't box to yourself. But we're gonna, three, two, other direction. Yes? So just keep your body moving. After this, we're gonna do some reverse lunges. Option to grab dumbbells. 15 seconds. Push through. I'm feeling my shoulders, how about you? Maybe five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. All right, grab a weight if you'd like, or two. Lunges. All right, alternating. Step back, drop down, come back up. Back and up, time is on. So remember, when you're doing your reverse lunges, we don't wanna push the knee forwards, but we also don't wanna go back. So imagine you're dropping down. If you're a guy, you know, maybe you're gonna propose you're gonna get down on one knee. Or you gotta pick something up off of the ground. Or you're on the ground and you gotta get back up. And darn it, there's not a chair nearby. Or anything else. And this is a great way to get total body strength in your legs. The whole body gets worked with this one. Good, so even if it's a shallow lunge, it can be good. 
And you have 10 more seconds. After this, lateral raises for those shoulders. All right, set it down. All right, lateral raises, everybody. I have to go a little light with mine. Three, two, one, time is on. Lateral raise. Now you'll see I'm doing palms facing forwards like I'm holding a couple of glasses. If you watch my right arm, you can absolutely do palms facing down as long as it feels okay for you. I have a shoulder that doesn't like to cooperate sometimes. And this one's a better position for me. So, listen to you and your body, and nice and tall. Now, it can be a little bit more forward at an angle, so not straight in front, but at a diagonal. Now, if you want, you can add in some calf raises. Keep those feet moving, working on a little balance. But again, don't push the hips forward for this one. Nice and straight. Push through the big toe, ball of the foot. You have five more seconds. Good, set those weights down. All right, we're just gonna do uppercut. Right, left. Your time is on. Now, if you wanna take it up a little bit more, you can do one, two, yes. Or you can do one, two, three, four. You can change it, change your tempo. Keep it close to the body, going out just a little. Now if you want, shuffle, uppercut. Or just shuffle, uppercut. This is your workout. If you want to get that heart rate up a little bit more, knock yourselves out. Not literally though. Good, good. After this, we're gonna get our heart rates down a little. Head down to the floor, do some abs, little strength training down there. Good, I'm just gonna stay in the center. Good, four, three, two, last one, good. All right, everybody, round two is done, yes? Yes. Keep those feet moving, grab a drink. Even if it's just a little sip, that works out well. We're gonna head down to the floor. If your heart rate and breathing are a little high and you're not ready for that yet, just keep moving. Join in when you're ready. All right, let's get our mats out. If you need to, you can put something underneath your knees so that you have something as a little bit of a cushion. You are going to need weights. We're gonna be doing some chest presses or some push-ups. Um, we're gonna do some rotating punches, bridges, skull crushers, mountain climbers, and side planks. So lots of different options today. You do what works best for you. I'm gonna put my mat a little bit at an angle, so hopefully you can see everything all right. Now I've got a couple exercises that I use really light weights for, because I'm still doing a little therapy. So. If and when you're ready, we're gonna take it down to the floor. Now, option one is a push-up. You are welcome to do push-ups on the floor, on a chair, or if you don't wanna do either one, you can always do chest presses with dumbbells. I'm going to do my chest presses with my dumbbells, but I am going to quick show you technique for our wonderful push-ups. I have a chair, it's pushed against the wall so it doesn't shift. I'm doing these on my knees. Now when we do these, we don't wanna let our shoulders come up like this. And we don't wanna have our butt back there so that all we're doing is bowing. You wanna straighten up, straight line, shoulders, hips to knees. Elbows in, shoulders away from the ears. Tuck the toes under, put a little pressure on them. It'll take some of the pressure off your knees. Bellies in, shoulders down. Nice and slow, we're gonna take it down and up. Yes, option two, on your back, we're gonna do our chest presses. I'm gonna do 30-30, starting with push-ups. One minute, your time is on, here we go. So 
So go ahead and start and move my timer. So down and up. So belly is in, chin is tucked just a little, like you've got a, an orange or an apple under there. Shoulders down, a little more tricep with these push-ups, but that's good, we need to build that muscle. Good, you're about halfway, so I'm gonna switch to doing the chest presses. So again, do elbows in, shoulders away from the ears, knees bent, feet flat. If you're doing the chest presses, keep doing push-ups if you wanna do push-ups. Rest when you need to, or if your form starts getting bad or your body starts to hurt, that's your signal to stop. Good, all right, stopping the push-ups or setting the weights down. Next exercise is a V-sit crunch with a cross punch. Weights are optional, not required. So knees bent, feet flat on the floor, if you can. You're going to lean back 30 to 45 degree angle. Little C-curve with the tummy, chest is open, shoulders away from the ears, punch to the corners, punch, punch. Time is on. Now, something to keep in mind is sometimes we have this happen. Watch my legs. We don't wanna do that. We wanna keep our hips, knees, and toes steady, and we just punch to the corners. We're doing a little bit of a Russian twist, a little rotation of our core, but again, we also don't wanna be up and punching this way. We wanna lean back, get a little rotation. If you wanna make it a little harder, think about it. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Good. Just kind of depends. You can always go at your own pace. The big thing is I want you to breathe. I want you to breathe. Now it can be a small rotation. You can just aim a little bit corner to corner. Doesn't have to be huge. Five more seconds. Good, all right, set those weights down. We're gonna do single leg glute bridges. You have the option of holding a weight in the crease of your hips right here, but hold on to it with your hands. Otherwise, all the way down, knees bent, feet flat on the floor. One leg is either going to be pulled into the chest, reaching for the ceiling, or crossed in a figure four position. Brace the core, you're going to push through the heel, lift up, and set it back down again. You have 30 seconds, your time is on. So 30 seconds on one side, and then we're gonna switch. Now something to keep in mind is sometimes we wind up tucking our pelvis and then bringing it up. You want to keep your hips and, uh, hips and torso in a neutral position so when your hip opens, the torso comes with it. Good, in three, two, switch sides, other foot, same thing. We're gonna squeeze and lift and set it back down again. Good, nice and steady. Listen to your body. Think about keeping your legs steady. A lot of times when we go up or when we come down, our leg wobbles. And we wanna try to not wobble. Because remember, weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. Those wonderful kids' toys, right? Five more seconds. Good, nice, good squeeze. Last one. All right, We've got two more exercises to go. We're gonna flip over, oh, no, three more. We're gonna do our skull crushers for our triceps. Now, you can do one weight or you can do two. If you're doing one weight, hold it on the ends like this. If you're doing two weights, they'll be palms facing in. So all the way down, knees bent, feet flat on the floor. Arms are up, your shoulders to your elbows, stay pointing towards the ceiling. And you're gonna slowly bend your elbows to bring your heads towards your forehead or to either side of your head by your ears. And then you're gonna straighten and bring it back up again. So you have one minute and your time is on. So we wanna make sure that we're not letting the shoulders do a lot of the movement. So sometimes we wind up doing a little bit more of a swing like this, and we're getting too much shoulder in there. 
All we're doing is an upside down bicep curl. So your elbows stay pointing to the ceiling. Shoulders are down in your back pocket, shoulder blades are, palms in. Now this is why they call them skull crushers. You gotta be really careful, especially if you're holding a single dumbbell and it's bending and it's coming towards your forehead. You really don't wanna hit yourself in the forehead. It doesn't feel good. I bounced a dumbbell off my chest before. Thankfully, it was kind of one of those rubbery ones, but it was pretty heavy, so it doesn't feel good. So just our lovely upside down bicep curls. If you're doing single arm, or if you have one dumbbell in each arm, you can alternate. Good, let's do one more. All right, good job, everybody. Let's go ahead and bring it up. We're gonna come into our mountain climber position. So definitely give yourself a minute because we're going from a lying on our back position to a on our tummy or on a chair position. So, mountain climbers, plank position. I prefer to do these on my hands, gives me a little bit more room. But we're just gonna bring it into the center like this. Now you're always welcome Again, to be on a chair and to do them on a chair or if you need to, standing, yes? All right, one minute and your time is on. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do nice and slow. I want to work on core stability for this particular exercise. I'm getting my heart rate down, trying not to let my backside come up. I don't wanna be in a down dog position. I wanna be in a plank position. Now I'm gonna do 30 seconds where I just come straight, and then I'm gonna do 30 seconds where I'm gonna rotate. Now, if you're starting to kind of feel your form get bad, you know, go ahead and take a break. All right, you're over halfway. So now I'm gonna do my rotating mountain climbers. So my upper body is steady. I'm not trying to turn everything. I'm just bringing my knee towards my opposite elbow. It's not touching, doesn't need to. Less than 10 seconds. Rest if you need to, but finish strong. Three, two, and one. Good, bring it down, shake it out. All right, one more exercise, everybody. We have our wonderful side planks. My students hate it when I make them do this, but it's actually really good for you. So option one, if these are really difficult or they just do not feel good or you don't feel like you're doing them quite right, you can come all the way down and you can lift your legs and a little bit of your upper body and feel the muscles right here contract, okay? So just bring your hips and your ribs a little bit closer together. Notice I'm not very high. That is your sideways dead fish. That's always an option. Option two, side plank. We're just doing 30 seconds. I do mine, both knees, because of my shoulders. So, shoulder is over your wrist or your elbow. Nice tall position. Everything is stacked. 30 seconds, your time is on. Now, if you wanna make this a little more challenging, you can take your top leg straight. If you wanna go for a little bit more of a challenge, you can be in a tandem stance. If you wanna bring it up a little bit more, stack your feet on top of each other. All right, you pick. You have about eight more seconds, and then we're gonna switch and do the other side. So try to make sure we're not hunkered over. Open up and open that chest. Two, one, good, bring it down. All right, other side. Give you a little time. Get into position. Again, a lot of times what happens is we let our wrist or our elbow get way out in front of our shoulder and that's why it tends to hurt. So bring it under, pull that shoulder down and back into your back pocket. 30 seconds, your time is on. So again, pick your position, pick your position. I'm doing these, there's nothing wrong with that. We're still getting good strength. I'm focusing on which muscles I want to use and I'm trying to get a little bit of stability for my spine, avoiding a lot of lateral movement. 
So our, our muscles are like the guy wires that support those really big towers. That's how they're able to stay up and tall. Three, two, one, bring it down. All right, excellent job, everybody. You guys ready to stretch? Yeah, I know I am. Grab a drink if you need to. Make sure that your area is clear. So we're gonna be doing some side to side movements with our legs. So you just wanna make sure that you're not accidentally gonna hit a dumbbell or your coffee table, or a lot of times in my couch, I wind, or not in my case, I wind up kicking the wall. All right. So let's go ahead and take it all the way down onto our backs. One leg is straight. We're gonna pull the other knee into the chest, trying to keep our hips neutral. Good, now we're gonna take that leg so that our knee is directly over our hip. You can hold it if you can and if you need to. And we're going to bring the leg straight just until we feel a stretch and then we're gonna bend it again. So the upper leg is frozen. So we're getting a little quad, strengthening of the quad, but we're stretching the hamstring. Last one. Good, now we're gonna keep the knee bent and we're going to bring it across the body. And your shoulder can come up off of the ground if you need to. And I try to get either my knee or my toe to touch the ground, give a little bit of, um, allow that hip to relax a little. And you also have the option of starting to straighten the leg. Just getting a little stretch in the outside of the hip and potentially a little bit in the hamstrings. If it's too much in the hamstrings, start to lower your leg and straighten it out just a little bit. So bring it closer to the other one. Good, bring it back up and we're gonna switch. So take that leg straight, pull the other knee into the chest. And again, just a little stretch of the glutes. Good, let's relax the grip on that leg a little. Keep the knee directly over the hip. And we're gonna straighten the leg and then we're gonna bend. And depending on how tight you are, you may not be able to get your leg completely straight and that's okay. The goal is to feel just a little stretch in the hamstring, but not pain, not pain. Good, one more, bring it up. Good, now take that leg and we're gonna bring it across the body to the other side. Opposite shoulder can come up off of the floor if it needs to. Straighten the leg if it feels okay, stretching the outside of the hip. A little bit of hamstring. Slide the leg closer to the other one if you need to. Good, carefully bring that leg up. We're gonna take both legs, knees bent, feet flat on the floor. Arms are open out to the side. Now, we're gonna rotate our knees towards one side, and as we do, the arm on the opposite side is gonna rotate palm down. Then we're gonna bring it back in the center, both palms up, and now we're gonna take our knees to the other side, and the palm is gonna rotate down again. Now, if you feel any weird popping or anything like that in your shoulder, just keep your palms facing up. And again, you wanna try to have them out to the side like you're making the letter T. You're making the letter T. Some of you may have a little difficulty actually getting your arms to touch the floor and that's usually a pretty good sign that your chest is kind of tight. Good, last one. Good, we're gonna bring it in the center and we're gonna have you pick your version of happy baby. So you're gonna bring both legs up. You can grab behind the thighs. 
you can grab the inside of your legs, wrap it around. You can grab your arches or you can grab your toes. Depends how flexible you are. We're just gonna relax. Get a little stretch, open those hips out to the side. Good, all right, let's roll ourselves to one side and come up to a seated position. So feet together, a little bit more inner thigh stretching. Fix our hair, I don't know about you, mine gets pretty messy when I'm on the floor. So nice and tall, trying not to rock to the back side of your pelvis. You should feel your sits bones in your backside when you're sitting nice and tall. And again, we don't want to arch, sit nice and tall. Stretching the hips, engaging those deep abdominal muscles, nice and tall. Chest up. Good, all right, we're gonna cross our legs. We're gonna take our arm on the floor and we're gonna side bend. Hand can be on your shoulder, your head, or reach for the ceiling. But we're working on lengthening the side. Good, keep the rotation. We're now gonna reach diagonally over the opposite knee towards the floor. You may feel the stretch change to a little bit more in the back. Good, bring it up. Other side, side bend, leaning in. Good, take that arm and you're gonna add the rotation. So it's a little side bend, but it's also a rotate, reaching that shoulder blade forwards. Good, bringing it back up. We're going to come to a half kneeling stance. If you need to, you can have a chair available or you can very carefully come to standing just because after we've been on our backs for a little while and then we try to stand up, our blood doesn't know where to go. Gotta give it a little time to adjust. So, half kneeling stance, shoulders over the hips, tuck the pelvis gently. And you're gonna have a little push forward with the front knee until you feel a stretch in the hip and the quad. A lot of times we lean forward or we don't keep it tucked under and we go forward and back and we don't feel it. So tuck your pelvis just a little bit, squeeze this glute, shoulders stay over your hips so your abs are engaged the entire time. If you need to, you can always come up and do the same exercise, support it on a chair. So I'm just lengthening my leg a little bit. Good, we're gonna switch, other side. Same thing, I stay up for this one. My kneecap has been a little unhappy lately. So, squeezing, whichever one you do, squeezing that cheek. We're trying to open that hip joint. This is your inguinal fold, that little crease. So again, shoulders away from the ears, whichever one you do, but we don't wanna hunch over and get tired. Good, very carefully you bring it up to standing if you're already partway there, or remain seated or kneeling. Just a few deep breaths in, here we go. Breathe in and out. One more, good job, in and out. All right, you are all done. So awesome job everybody. Give yourself a nice good pat on the back for doing this workout with me. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful day. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or if you have any ideas for class formats that you would like to see, please go ahead and contact me through my website and I will see everybody later. Have a wonderful day. Bye.